Today on Gavin's Playhouse, we're talking about Tom Clancy's The Division, hitting up a little bit of Fallout 4. Now, Charlie's Angels. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Gavin's Playhouse today. We're going to be talking about Tom Clancy's The Division, as well as touching on that new Fallout 4 trailer. We got to play Tom Clancy's Division uh, a little bit earlier today with the girls. It's kind of a post-apocalyptic game, but without the zombies, you know, a lot of times you play these games where you're in the wasteland and you're fighting against all the undead. This is a very realistic take on, you know, a, a strain of the virus that mutates and eventually takes a lot of people out. And now it's a struggle between... The people that are just trying to live and the basically the raiders that are coming and trying to destroy everything. Um, what did you guys think playing Tom Clancy's Division? I kind, it of, just, looked, kind of blends in with a lot of yeah, like, other games. Yeah, being in this show is a little in. slow pace for you Like there guys, wasn't yeah. a lot of like exciting things. There wasn't. Kind of like you just shot the same guys and then yeah. Yeah. did a couple of, like things that were really easy to get to. Like it wasn't like there's no. obstacles. You just follow the orange <laughs> dots of where you need to be. Yeah, yeah like, that's there's it is definitely. It was, as far as, I mean, follow that orange dot, just get yeah. the mission going. There's a, getting into the game, because we kind of had you guys on the intro there. Um, when you actually get into it, it does open up pretty much a chunk of the whole island of New York. And it was actually mapped after all of the actual city. So you can go to um, landmarks and follow the actual buildings with the signs and everything. Hmm. But I was really excited for the idea of like seeing New York, like expensive style mixed with post-apocalyptic armor, if you will, or found items. My issue, I think, with the game was you say they're trying to make it realistic. They're trying to make it a more virus based thing. And yet, nothing about it, the setting seems realistic. That's not New York in any way. Uh, we noticed everyone had LL Bean clothing. And I hate to be a stickler. Like, this has nothing to do with game. <laughs> it could have been R.E.I. But just, it could nobody's been wearing LL Bean but, anymore but just, in New York. What is this? Yeah, pretty good party, R2. You know what this party needs, though? Some karaoke. Come here. What's this? Uh, R2 Super Party Playlist. R2 Hearts Hip Hop. C-3PO's Better Homes and Garden Crap. R2's Happy Fun Time? What's this? You gotta make us scream all night! Welcome back. Right now I'm hanging out with Asimov, Adam Smasher, if you guys remember Juliet Electric from our first episode. Earlier we were talking about The Division by Tom Clancy. Not really as much as your guys' kind of game. Uh, Fallout 4, however, definitely yeah. a lot more your guys' yes. style. Um, we got to show him the trailer. I mean, I'm excited for it. We've been waiting six months for this DLC. And the robot customization really looks like it's going to be in-depth. I mean, you can make the robots look any way you want them to. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Now, last time we had you on the episode, I kind of blew the shout-out for the clothing company. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Uh, yeah. Um, not only do we have a new clothing line coming out. Um, it's all geared, toward, geared towards females. Um, it's rockabilly pinup style. And we also are starting to do workshops for costuming. We have um, two options right now, showgirl and burlesque costumes. Mainly costumes geared towards performers who want to be on stage, showing all that old razzle dazzle going on. <coughs> 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 So, uh, what, uh, what are you doing down there? Oh, dying of plague. My bad. 
So hanging out with Asimov, Adam Smasher here. If you guys haven't heard of her, she has an awesome burlesque show that she puts on at Dante's in Sinferno downtown. Now tell us a little bit about the bur burlesque performance that you have. It's not just swallowing swords. You actually put stuff through your face, I put right? I through my face. I, I, I'm into the uh, nasal penetration. Persuasion. Nasal penetration. <laughs> And you also have a, coming up your London Burlesque performance as well. I am going to be going to the London Burlesque Festival's All Tattooed Review on May 11th. Oh, that's really and cool. And it's going to be uh, my first time out to London as first as my first international performance. I will be doing a burlesque act based off H.P. Lovecraft's The Shadow Over Innsmouth. So I'm going to turn into a fish on stage. A fish on stage. Naked, <laughs> naked fish on stage. <laughs> fish on stage. A naked fish on stage. Well, almost naked. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 